Welcome back to another episode of This or That. And I might be confusing you just a little bit because you'll be like, oh, wait, did I miss an episode? No, you did not miss an episode. I do not have the husband bracelet right now because we have completed tier one. I decided to make this a tiered path because it was just a lot easier to manage all the different bracelets by doing tiers. So this is what I'm deeming the Disney tier. The Disney tier. So this is going to be Disney bracelets of sorts going up against one another um, or Disney themed bracelets going up against one another until we find the ultimate Disney bracelet winner. And then there will be a um, final round where all four final tiered bracelets categories go up against one another. So the uh, first tier was you saw the personality bracelet go against the happiness bracelet and the happiness bracelet defeated it in a TKO. Then you saw the travel theme bracelet go up against the happiness bracelets and the happiness bracelet defeated yet again the bracelet, the travel themed one. And then you saw the happiness bracelet finally get defeated by the husband bracelet. So we are now to the next tier. And it is the Disney tier, as I mentioned before. And what we have here is the Disney princess abstract theme bracelet and the Disney princess themed, actual Disney princess theme bracelet. So the Disney princess theme bracelet is one of my most painstaking creations of all time. This one took me the longest to make of all my bracelets and it was just completed late like no early last year. That's what I want to say. It was early last year and it was after I went to Disney World um, last no yes I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> it took me forever. Let's just put it that way because I got the final two pieces when I went to, um, which is the Tinkerbell set, when I went to Disney in tw uh, 2017, 2016, I 28, no, 20, whenever they first came out, you can look that up if you really want to know the date because I can't remember. And so these two were my final two that I got at Disney World when I went to the Flower and Garden Festival. And I absolutely adore the Tinkerbell charm. And she was my final piece to this bracelet to finally complete it. And um, so I have the Murano for Jasmine and Jasmine. I have uh, Rapunzel and Rapunzel's Murano. I have Cinderella and Cinderella's Murano. I have um, Tinkerbell and Tinkerbell's Murano. I have... Ariel and Ariel's Murano and you get the point Belle and her Murano and then also Elsa and her Murano um, so this took me a really long time because the um, Muranos are kind of expensive because they have that fluorescent glow in the dark bit to them and because you had to buy a bracelet and a charm uh, uh, you had to buy a um, the dangle and then you had to buy the the um, Murano and the Dangles weren't cheap and neither were the Muranos. So it took me a while. And then I had this on my heart class bracelet that's now my personality bracelet, but I replaced it with the new Disney bangle um, that came out. It's not new anymore, I guess, because they've had a newer bangle come out since. But this was the only Disney bangle for quite some time. And it is the, I always have this backwards. True Beauty is Found Within Bangle, um, which is the Beauty and Beast inspired bangle that came out with the new live action movie. And so that is the bracelet that is the Disney Princess bracelet. Now, um, my Disney 
themed abstract bracelet. This represents all the Disney princesses in an abstract manner. So I'm not going to go through all of that. I have a whole separate video on that, which I'll link in the description down below if you would like to see that video. But let's just go through some of the things that make this bracelet special. And that would be number one, my safety chain, which is the star safety chain, which represents Jasmine. It's one of my favorite safety chains of all time. I love it. And then I also have the gold uh, clasped Pandora signature button style or uh, bracelet and then I have a couple of different charms so I have a couple of different charms that have some sentimental value to them that is the um, opulent heart which is my representation of Merida because I think this design looks a lot like the flag that Merida does in her movie Brave and the opulent heart was a gift that well like my husband and I were on a date and he's like let's go buy you a Pandora charm and this is the one that I picked out and it was pretty special then I also have this gorgeous one of my top five charms which is the radiant hearts charm and I, you know, no camera can ever do this charm justice. It's just so pretty. It glows. It literally glows. And you can see the hearts really clearly through here. I'm trying to get you a good angle, but it's kind of difficult. But that's another one of my favorite charms. And this charm has a lot of sentimental value. Um, this one has had... It took me a lot to get this charm. I really wanted this charm, but this is my Snow White representation. And it also has my lovely Disney um, dangle here that I got at Disney World. Um, so many charms, so many beautiful memories on this bracelet. Um, so, yeah, I love this bracelet. Uh, I wear this one literally almost every single week at least, maybe twice a week. It's just the one I throw on because I just love... Um, the Disney princesses all being represented. Oh yeah, and then this one, that's the fan one. That is the oriental fan. That represents my uh, Mulan. And my daughter actually played Mulan in a play. And so that one has some sentimental value too. So these charms have a lot of meaning, a lot of sentimental value. They're real, real, real pretty. I wear this bracelet, and like I said, a lot, a lot, a lot. This bracelet I wear to Disney. <laughs> And every once in a while when I'm feeling funky, I like to wear it. But I got to be honest, it's not a real wearable bracelet. From a few standpoints, it's very showy. So if you're not in a showy mood, this bracelet isn't going to work. But it is very, very cute. And it took me a really long time. And I knew I wanted to make it for a couple of different reasons. One, I love Disney princesses. And every time I go to Disney, I freak out over seeing all the princesses and going to the castle and have I had plenty of Disney princess experiences like eating experiences and just to watch the actresses do all their little Disney princess like caricatures I mean Tiana was a hoot and a holler I gotta be honest I loved Tiana and then of course um, Rapunzel is adorable and um, Ariel always fun she's so cute. She always comments how she wants to use a dingle hopper, <laughs> which you were eating with. And she jokes about how, you know, she used to know that. So it's just so, she, she used to think that she combed her hair with it. And it's funny. Um, they're just such funny characters to see. Um, so I love Disney princesses. And both of these bracelets have Disney princess meaning. But, you know, I'm getting wordy here because uh, I'm trying to stall because these are both, this is a hard one. This is a little bit tougher for me. Um, I think... I think for wearability, oh, this hurts though. It really, really hurts you guys. I'm, I'm sad. I'm in pain from this one. Ow. <laughs> Goodbye, Disney Princess bracelet that took me forever and ever and ever to make. Because this one has to win. I just love this bracelet. It's pink. It's pretty. It's subtle. It's abstract. It's got special meanings to some of the charms. I just, I love this bracelet. So this is the new winner of the this or that tier Disney style of the tier of Disney. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but it's words. So um, that is my uh, newest uh, winner. And some at some point in the future, I will have another Disney this or that. And we will get to the end of the Disney tier. And then we will move on to a new tier. And then the final four bracelets will battle it out for 
the winner of all of my bracelets. So keep tuned for more episodes of this or that and some other charm videos. I have some exciting videos coming up for November. That'll be another new series. That's going to be a DIY Pandora series. I'm so excited, you guys. It's going to be so much fun. It's not making charms because that would be a terrible idea. But taking some charm items and making them into things that you can use for Christmas. So that's a teaser trailer. Um, so super excited. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day. Bye.